gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Lead on. Yes! <laughs> All right. Oh my god, I'm so sleepy. Is this the reactor? No, it's the facility. So rather than falling off of a bridge and getting separated, we're gonna go through this. I actually remember this facility. You, you go through there the second time through Nibelheim, later in the game. Level boost materia. Increase level of link material by what? Oh, that's cool. Wait, that's so you're telling me that if I slap that materia right here, I now have access to fire. -a. Wow, that's a cool materia. Yeah, that's kind of what I've heard, Coop. A lot of people, like, they were really happy about MK1 at first, but now they're all like, uh, maybe not. Maybe not that. that monster over there in the corner. Holy crap! I thought it was gonna be some sort of robot. Okay. Okay, weak to fire. Well, guess who just happens to have fire, too? I am... Okay, there we go. Oh, I should have done that to begin with. Let's finish this. Piece of cake. I hope. I, I wish Grand Blue would make headlines. It's such the. It's like such the superior fighting game. The reactor may have been around for a while, but there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Mako poisoning. Yeah, there's that. I'm curious about that new fighting game that just came out that everybody was so excited about. Like, it really looked garbage, but I don't know. I guess that's the one I'm talking about?
Like, it looks really, like, bad, but I don't know. I haven't played it. Obviously. Yeah, Undernight it. Yeah, 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 that one. Undernight. Like, there's a chance that it's fun, and if it does well, like, if it gets a lot of interest in ammo, I might give it a shot. But it just doesn't look great. It looks like bordering on an indie fighting game. And I feel like a fighting game really needs a team behind it to be good competitively. There it is. Come on. Oh, so have you been playing it or not yet? Like, I actually played, God, I think I played Grand Blue for like three hours this morning, no cap. I was just vibing with Percival. He's actually not as Does bad as I thought he was. That thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. I actually have really gotten accustomed to modern controls as well, Coop. Like when I do put when I do boot up Street Fighter 6 again, I'm probably going to use modern just because like I have a feel for it now. Um maybe Please do not stab anyone, Burby. What are you? Dead? <laughs> well, now there's only one mysterious masked soldier remaining. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising, it's a fighting game we've been playing. Time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. Sephiroth joined the party, looking at me with his sultry cat eyes. I'm playing Tomb Raider now. Oh, it's the binge. What? There's an enemy right there. Jeez. Off you go. 
Oh, I get to play Sephiroth now. Let's go. Jesus. There's no point in controlling Cloud at all. Oh! <gasps> Holy crap! You can just save anywhere now? That's interesting. I wonder why they went with that route instead of letting you save at the benches. I guess since it's like a, such a big open world, they didn't want you to have to find a bench while you were out exploring. More Mako gas ahead. There's no way around it either. Just have to go through. Cool. Well, let's not waste any time. Mako, this thick is dangerous. <laughs> Let's do it the way he used to do it in the original. Well, that's that. Yeah. Oh, another materia. Em empowerment materia. Yo, they're already giving you some really cool sounding stuff. What is empowerment materia? Allows you to use physical and magical attack, strength, and expels. Paired. Oh, okay, so it's bravery and faith. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Wait, so let's look at Sephiroth's stuff. He's got the literal Masamune. Look at that sword. God dang. Resplendent Bracer and Fortitude Ring. I don't get an accessory. I'm not cool. Masamune ability, Hell's Gate. Okay. I'm turned around. This way. I'm lost! <laughs> A Mako Spring. It's beautiful. Koo, don't make me slap you. Yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Mm -hmm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo. 
Hojo from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him. He's a hack. He is anything but. We should press on. So yeah, in case you weren't paying attention like I wasn't, uh, the basic rundown is that magic is derived from materia, which is, could, it's basically magical coal. Like imagine if you made coal out of your blood, that's, that's what materia is. Or di ma imagine you made diamonds out of your blood. That's what the materia is, except for the blood is the planet's blood. Wow, that actually super sucks, Coop. I'm going backwards, aren't I? No, I'm good. I had a bout of insomnia last night. I went to I went to sleep at 11 and I woke up at two. And I have been up ever since. Two. And the answer was probably no. I like how they were like, you know what Final Fantasy VII needed? Tomb Raider. Whoa, what is that? That sucks, Coop. I don't know how you do it. Like... I just don't, I don't know how you do it. I would lose my mind. I can barely handle working an eight, sh eight hour shift anymore. So what does Magnify do? Oh, it's uh, AOE. Yeah, wait, I like that. Now I can give Cloud and Sephiroth a braver. Yeah. 
Oh, I mean, I know you get paid a lot. Don't get me wrong, but like, I don't know. How much do you get, if, if you don't mind me asking, what do you get paid? Because I don't know, I don't know that I have a number where I'd work that hard, unless it's like a million in a year and then I could retire. And I don't even know if I'd last an entire year at this point in my life. I would try, but I can't say I'd succeed. Not again. Okay, so you pull about 130k a year if you work like a full year. Oh, it's like a little boss. Watch my stream until 11 p.m., but I didn't stream until 11 p.m. What time zone are you in? I thought you were. I guess I never really asked where you lived. All right. Yeah, well. <laughs> Piece of cake. Yeah, but Bird was here until the end of my stream. So unless she was watching like past streams, which I guess could have been the case. Autocast materia. Auto allows an ally to automatically use spells with the linked materia when not actively controlled during combat. Are you kidding me? Wow, I mean, I kind of hate that they need that, like... Oh, I can't even, I can't change Sephiroth's materia. Um, let's give it to Cloud then, screw it. Not magnify, autocast, there we go. So I'm not using Cloud right now anyways. Oh, you're in Texas. Oh, okay. Oh, was I doing Lethal Company? I'm so tired. I don't know what I'm what I'm what's happening right now. I actually didn't consider that this would take this long. It's got like an entire thing happening. Elevator access restricted due to Mako gas concentrations. Air purification unit must be employed to clear
Oh, I see that materia back there. Comet materia. That's dope. I want to use comet. Not elemental. Not elemental. Yeah, comet. There you go, Cloud. Just cast comet. Sometimes it'll be fine. I also saw more materia over here. Than Asia, I'm doing good. Um, just playing this, honestly. It's just the demo. This this doesn't come out until the end of the month. Uh, but this is basically the first section of the game. And the menu says that if I complete it, then we do not have to do any more, or we don't have to replay it later. I should say. It's sad, like not sad like against you, it's just it's kind of sad to me that you're like, I think I played this game, but the old one, and I'm just like, these are the greatest games of all time, everybody should be playing them all the time. <laughs> uh, Burby, this is my other friend that joined uh, during Dragon Quest um, Monsters 3. They help me out a bunch, and they're real cool. Final Fantasy games are awesome because they're like story driven and they're kind of chill. So you don't have to worry about like crazy high flying. Well, okay, so this one you do, but this is different. Uh, the original Final Fantasy VII is just a turn based game. It's awesome. One of my favorites. Top 20, easy. And don't think that top 20 is like a low position. I've beaten several hundred RPGs. Top 20 is a very high spot on my list, believe me. Final Fantasy 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, and 16 are all like really good games. Yeah, you, it, you're, I think you're coming up on your one year anniversary, Burby. Even though you were gone for like six months. And again, that's not a dig at you. It's just a, a comment. It just happened. You know what I mean? Uh, Explorers is like the Monster Hunter Final Fantasy, right? Okay, let's compromise. Five months. This is now a negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I imagine we're coming up on a boss. I mean, how long can this section go? Up ahead. Looks like a way out. Yeah, this looks like a boss room if I ever saw one. Wait. You can't, you can't get me, game. I've been, I've played too many games. I know you're, I know what you're up to. What? Get 
back. This way. You said you wanted to be a hero. Wish I had it. Good things were after me, Terry. Someone should tell if we're not. <laughs> be my guest. For you. Maybe try mixing it up more. Gotta keep your guard up. You're in good hands. Knock it down. Hold still. Stand back. Go for the leg. It's all you. Take out its legs. Now. That burby. You're practically panting. I'm excited. <laughs> Such a puppy. <laughs>
I think I'm over the EO games, at least until they come out okay, with one that's like really up. fun. Maybe I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. What, Burby? You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too. Please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Nice! Congrats, Burby. Have you started it? Carry on. You better take real good care of me. You better keep me safe. Ah, uh, she they changed her line a little bit, but it was close enough. In the original, she says, yeah, you better take real good care of me, and real is in all caps. Pretty sassy. Oh god, we're here! Systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output. Like most last gen models. Then let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. No action, huh? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Hojo. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. Oh, this music is very foreboding. I love it. The reactor is also much bigger than it, I remember it being. Oh wait, no, this is this is the this is the room, guys. This is the room. Oh my God, this is the room. Some of you guys hopefully know what this room is. I can't tell you. It's gigantic spoilers, but this is the fucking room. Say a few words to your sword first. So that's this room, Nasia. But the previous room. So earlier, before you got here. Let me do a quick explanation. Earlier before you got here, they took a photo of the party. They took a, po a photo of Tifa, Cloud, and Sephiroth, which I was explaining to Burby, is one of the most important moments in the entire story of these games, is that photograph. The room we just walked through is probably the second most important part of the story. <laughs> but you won't know that for about a month and a half in the real world, assuming you've watched my playthrough or you play it yourself. Hojo. Oh, you are really something. Well, well pay I'm attention, Burby, because shit's about to get crazy real fast. Genova? Now that we've reached the reactor, that... oh baby. Yeah, One Winged Angel's really good, but it's not as good as Dancing Mad, which is Kefka's theme from Final Fantasy VI. Well, his final, his final boss. Hmm, I wonder. The malfunction must be forcing the pods to depressurize. Cloud. Go out and shut off the valve. Copy.
Believe me, Burby, I do not want to spoil even one second of this for you because this is one of the best stories ever told in a video game. And this is like where this is where everything happens. This this next few points. Way too long. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. They fuse with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. It's better, Burby. Eventually, Hold on to your we butt. We back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. <coughs> the mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Oh yeah, well you have to understand too the history of this game, Nasia. There is a staggering amount of people that this this was their first I met Sephiroth at as minimum he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. At minimum, it was their first Final Fantasy game. For a lot of people, this was their first RPG ever. This, the original Final Fantasy, was the first time they could see how big a story could get. came back from the reactor, too much exposure to Mako, then we ought to bring him some medicine. Like this game is important for a lot of reasons. Not this one in particular. I mean, this one yes, but the original Final Fantasy VII is one of the most important video games ever made. It's like. 
a, it's a few pegs below Mario, but it's really important. Especially for American audiences. building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and needs our help? Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. I'm glad it's coming through on the uh, stream. I tweaked some settings and it feels like and it looks like it's actually done a lot of good. Took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Also, keep in mind, Burby, this is a flashback. I know it's kind of been made a little clear, but not entirely. Never knew it had a basement. Was news to me, too. I doubt anyone in the village had a clue. There he is. This is the room. <gasps> These are the tubes. Look at them. These are the tubes. God, I can't wait for you guys to see what all of this, what I'm so excited about. I wonder if. Is it this door? I bet it is that door. I bet Vincent's asleep behind that door right now. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M E G L 77 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, MEGL 913-1977. Genova Project approved. Good night, Nasia. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. I think I'm about done anyways. The scene no, shouldn't said, last much longer. I stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. You know, there's also something to be said for Sephiroth's intelligence as well. The fact that he can pour through this many books without any sort of mental fatigue. You know what I mean? We got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient's. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient. But he did, he was a soldier. Or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. He's trained for combat. 
she needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? I should go. Mother is waiting. Hey! Hey! Hold on! Keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Absolutely not. Or tried, at least. <sighs> what? Get to see this much of the destruction in the original. Is it true? Sephiroth did this? Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God. Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Yes, sir. I wish you would shake off his leg wound. Oh 
Oh man, my house is fucked. That voice sounded real familiar. Oh, you guys are fucked. You sick son of a bitch. Let's burn up. Drop the sword. Y'all should probably have pulled the trigger. Why are you not shooting? What an iconic shot. He just walks off into the fire. Alright, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, likes, comments, subscriptions, all that good stuff helps out a bunch. And I uh, will see you in the next one. Deuces, dummies.